What's up gang, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. I am pretty excited today. This is kind of a fun one, something that we're getting to test out that I had several people reach out about. Uh, the topic of this video is we're looking at wireless CarPlay and how you can get it in your existing vehicle without having to buy a replacement head unit, without having to buy a new car. Just how to get wireless CarPlay. So that's what we're gonna be looking into. And it all started with these little USB dongle adapters that started showing up online. For a decent amount of money, you could pick up this dongle, plug it into your car, and purportedly get wireless CarPlay. Simple as that. So we were pretty eager to test this out. So after a few people wrote in asking about it, we wanted to test this out for you guys and let you know how it worked, if it worked, or if it's just a big old scam. So the one that we picked up, there's quite a few of them out there. We'll link them down below in the description if you really want to try them. Uh, but the one we're trying is C Play to Air. Car Play to Air. If you can pick that up on camera. Nope. A little bit. Almost. Yeah, that's the guy that we happen to pick up. But there's a few of them out there uh, at different price points. But this is the one particularly that we tested. So we're testing this with our 2019 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk but there's a whole list of supported cars on all these different manufacturers' websites. And uh, again, the idea is just to plug this into your car's USB port and get wireless CarPlay. To me, it seemed almost too good to be true, so I was very skeptical going in on what this was gonna do. So first, why do you care about wireless CarPlay? Wireless CarPlay gives you a bunch of advantages. So you can use wireless chargers, which is huge. We have killed so many uh, like lightning cables in our cars. We're often, off-roading or adventuring and out there and get a little bit of water in the car, a couple of those pins touch and your lightning cable is toes, which means car play is toes and you can't charge anything. It's a pain in the butt. So honestly, the whole wireless experience is significantly better. Use a wireless charger. Don't ever have to plug anything in. Keep your phone in your pocket. Keep your phone in your purse, whatever it may be, but you just don't have to plug anything in anymore. So the whole wireless experience is far better. You also get your battery life on your car's infotainment system, which is an added bonus. You can actually see your battery life there all the time. Uh, whether you have your phone plugged in or not, it's just kind of nice to be able to see your battery life there on your head unit. So there is definitely significant benefits to going with a wireless route, but until now you had to either pick up an aftermarket receiver head unit. Uh, we reviewed a couple wireless ones from Pioneer, which are, are great, but they're pretty expensive. The other option is just to buy a new car. Ford announced a whole bunch of sync compatibilities coming out with wireless CarPlay. Um, uh, Fiat Chrysler America, they're also bringing out uh, Uconnect 5, which is gonna come to Jeeps and Chrysler and all those other cars that they make. All those will be getting wireless CarPlay with Uconnect, uh, the latest version of Uconnect when that launches. But again, that's down, down the line. And if you already have a car, you're kind of just stuck using wired CarPlay and it's an expensive endeavor to do anything different. So these adapters, these dongles seem like such a good idea. And honestly, when I saw this, I absolutely jumped on picking one up. So installation was pretty, pretty much simple. You just plug this thing into your car's USB port, the same way you would use for CarPlay and tuck it away. So for me, I actually could fit it inside the center console of my car. So I don't even have to see this thing. It just goes right into the center, done. Then you connect to this guy uh, over Bluetooth, I believe, or Wi-Fi, and uh, that's pretty much it. Your car sees this and thinks that CarPlay is connected, and your phone connects to this, thinking it's a vehicle, and sends out the CarPlay signal. This marries them together and puts wireless CarPlay right onto your car's dash. So, does it work? That's all in theory. So does it actually work? Well, actually, before we talk about if it worked, we should probably talk about this video's sponsor. Thank you so much for making this kind of stuff happen, which is Xteria. Xteria has some of the coolest cases out there because they really marry quality with the protection. I love how they blend in the aluminum around the edges of the cases. They come in so many cool colors and they offer so much protection at the same time. I like the clear backs on them, but honestly what I'm a huge fan of is their wireless chargers. They have a dual wireless charging stand, their uh, Defense Duo wireless charger. It allows you to charge a set of AirPods on the side, on a little cushion there to the side, and then there's a leather backed option in the center or on the side for your iPhone. Your iPhone works both vertically and horizontally, comes with everything you need to get started and get charging to power up your phone, your AirPods all at the same time. It's one of the sleekest, nicest chargers that we've seen out there, so I'm a huge fan of it. If you wanna grab anything from Xteria, I highly encourage it, and you can find all of their stuff at the links down below in the description. Now, back to our CarPlay to Air wireless dongle. So did this thing work? Well, it did. It worked very well for us. We plugged this in and we instantly had wireless CarPlay. Every time we'd step into the car, 
wireless CarPlay would boot right up. Our phone would automatically connect, things would get going, done. Auto play your music, just everything the CarPlay should do wirelessly, and it is entirely freeing. And every time I, I've taken this out of the shop, uh, the car a few times to film and everything, every time I do, I'm like kicking myself because all of a sudden I don't have wireless CarPlay anymore. And it's kind of a frustration to plug things in. You have wires hanging about and it's just uh, not as nice of an experience. So I was really stoked to see this that, that this actually worked for me and so effortlessly at that. Now there are a few times that this has not worked. So especially if we use the remote start function on our car, when we get back in the car, this may not may not pick up right away. So it's kind of an odd thing to happen, but we have had the same thing happen on other vehicles where CarPlay is manufacturer installed or the wireless CarPlay is through a third party receiver like the Pioneer units we reviewed. We have had times where we'll do the auto start and get in and our phone just doesn't find it and marry up and it just doesn't work quite right. And honestly, this was actually easier because when that happens, I just unplug this, plug it back in, boom, wireless CarPlay again. Whereas if you have an actual receiver, you can't do anything if your iPhone just refuses to connect to it. We've also seen reports of recent versions of iOS having issues with wireless CarPlay, something that we're hoping Apple fixes in a forthcoming update. So the couple times that our phone did not connect to this, which was pretty rare, we don't know if it was this, our receiver, iOS, our iPhone. It's hard to nail down exactly what the problematic part of the setup was. But for the most part, by and large, this thing worked. Now, there is a huge asterisk on this because this is in no way official. This is in no way officially supported by Apple. So if you pick this thing up and you expect this to work forever, you may be completely wrong. Apple could issue a software update tomorrow that will completely brick this thing and make it no longer work. We see it with things that are not really officially supported by Apple, but have a large user base, like HomeBridge for HomeKit that allows you to use unsupported or uncertified accessories with your HomeKit ecosystem. It works great, at least for now. Apple could kill it down the line. They could kill this thing too. So this is a hack. This is not some official Apple dongle. You can't go pick this up in the Apple store to add wireless CarPlay to your existing vehicle. They've managed to get this to work, and for now, it works, and it works well. But it could be an expensive piece of plastic if Apple chooses to end support, break this in some way going forward. So if you guys want to gamble and try it out for yourselves, there's a link down below for this one as well as a few other Amazon purchases or options down below in the description. But I'm, I'm super curious to hear what you guys think. Um, why don't you guys reach me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and we can talk about this. Is this something that you want? Do you want wireless CarPlay? Is it worth picking up one of these adapters for? They range, range between 80 to $150 depending on the one you pick up. But I'm super curious if you guys think that something like this is worth it. If you'd like Apple to launch their own version of something like this and how much you would pay for it. Totally reach out on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.